Looks like we have someone who's having trouble seeing. Hello. Don't be shy. Come forward. I saw you jumping up and down in the back. Hey, hey, me too. We should form a club. Sorry for being so forward, but do you mind sharing your name with me? Sean! That's a lovely name. I'm Benito, but you can call me Ben for short. Well, some people believe you can use psychic powers for luck, love, and all sorts of things. We're going to test psychic ability for you. Is that okay? What I want is for you to think about a card for me. You don't have to make a huge production out of it or anything. Just close your eyes and block everything else out. Let it go dark and imagine the card in your mind. Got it? Open your eyes. Now, really focus on the energy of that card. If you think hard enough, you may be able to find it. Don't let go of that thought in your mind. Really focus on that card. All right, don't turn your card over just yet. Now, what was the card you were thinking of? Turn your card over. Looks like you really are psychic, Sean. You can keep that if you want. You're the psychic one, right? Do a trick for me! Well, let's have a look. Ciao!
Actually, I wanted to see you again. Are you interested in being a plant? Do you want to hang out in crowds and help me do a few tricks? Don't be silly, you were great today. I try, but there are a few tricks here and there that require a helper in the audience. Think of it as rigging the deck. They don't have the right look. A plan has to be plain and not stand out, otherwise it's too obvious. Well, yeah, I mean... Note to self, don't call people plain, even if you mean it as a compliment. Most people have a sort of air about them, something that screams, please notice me. They're desperate for attention, and it shows in the way they dress, move, and speak. But you're different. You don't look like you want attention, you shy away from it. Well, think about it. I know you'd be great. Not all, but some, sure. You'd learn plenty from helping me anyway. Are you saying you'll help? That trick's a bit of an obvious one, though. Every card in the deck is a four of clubs. You must just be psychic. Anyway, I'm sure you have somewhere to be, so I won't keep you. Text me later, okay? there. Looks like I'm set for dinner tonight. I'm glad you came. I didn't think you'd actually accept. Oh yeah? Well, what do I need to do to convince you? I see. I'm 
I'm afraid that I don't have much money to offer, but I'm currently in the talks for a TV special right now. If it comes through, that'll pay pretty well. What happened? Something happened to you after we met this morning. What's wrong? Don't try to hide it. It's my job to read people. And right now, it's clear as day to me that you're in pain. And now you need money? See? That wasn't so hard, was it? Well, the TV deal is still a ways off. But if you really are strapped to cash, why don't you start a blog? It's no cash cow, but it's better than nothing. You'd have to update it regularly, though. I don't know. What's your area of expertise? How am I supposed to look? You're not even wearing any makeup, and yet that's your area of expertise? And yet, you're a professional makeup artist? You have a fascinating outlook on things. To me, at least. I hope I'll get to study you more sometime. Sorry to cut things short, but I have to get back to work. If I'm lucky, I'll be able to upgrade tonight's dinner to a medium combo. Stay in touch, okay? Sean, over here! How are you? You need to get better sleep. I didn't say more sleep. I said better sleep. Something's on your mind, and it's keeping you from sleeping well. Do you want to talk about it? It's fine. In your own time. Anyway, did you start that blog like I suggested? Well, it's kind of a slow burn sort of thing, but if you keep writing regularly, you'll get more hits. At this point in time, you really need to just keep writing. The more content you have, the better. Got it? Any questions? Ah, that. I've got this thing coming up at a fancy hotel. They want me to entertain the guests for a night and see how it goes. It's not as exciting as you think. I offered to work pro bono. I think they were more excited about the prospect of free entertainment than me. I was just wondering if you wanted to be my makeup artist for the show. Looks are everything, after all. I'll still pay you, of course. Drawing on a bit of eyeliner really isn't the same as a professional job. 
I can't afford to cut any corners on this one. Great! It's next Friday night. I'll text you the details later. Anything you want. I wanted to see how you were doing with my own eyes. You're definitely the kind of girl who would lie and say you're doing okay just to be polite. Well, from the look of it, whatever you were worried about isn't as bad as before. I'm glad. I hope things continue to get better. See you on Friday! Sean! Over here! It's more luxurious than I had previously thought, but that might be a good thing. I hope they serve a lot of alcohol here. If we're fortunate, we'll get some handsome tips tonight. Only if you ask him to carry that massive makeup case you've got there. Then you're fine. I can show you the side entrance after the show. Might save you a little bit of trouble next time. If there is a next time. Man, I hope there's a next time. These trial runs are a killer on the nerves. Well, it's no use stalling. Let's get going. Yeah, not so impressive back here, huh? Whoa, that's a lot. I understood it intuitively, but actual experience is a different matter. But you're the master here. I'm counting on you. Not too much. I'm trying to play up the innocent youth angle here. You think I'm a monster? Yay! Candy! Yeah, I guess I'm past that shtick. Although, I am definitely not past liking candy. Makes sense. Humans are born preferring sweet things, but taste leans toward the bitter as they age. I'm sure I'll grow past liking candy soon enough. Right, ready to go then? You're free to go. Ciao! I'm not sure yet. 
It seems like I should be able to take advantage of the space between the bottom of the cup and the table. It'll come to me. Here's your payment for a job well done. There were still tips, and a promise is a promise. If it makes you feel that bad, consider it in advance. Very much so. I got offered a regular gig. It's a start. Pay is merely decent. The biggest benefit is having a captive audience with a high turnover rate. Good way to reach a lot of people from across the country, so it's a worthwhile trade-off. It's one of several scenarios I've plotted for my career. Not precisely. I considered it was a possibility and I planned what I'd do if it came to pass. Meet as many people as possible. Target the ones who look like they're media or social organizers. Continue to work the streets to expand opportunities. In other words, keep working. Don't slow down. Everything is right on schedule. I don't know when they'll want me next but I'll contact you. Thanks. I've been told the feedback was pretty positive, although I assume it's because I gave away free dessert. The real test is tonight. Sadly, no. I guess I'll have to actually be good at what I do. It really depends on the audience. I've got to tailor it to them. But in a hotel setting like this, traditional illusions don't work quite as well. It has to be more organic. For instance, is this yours? Well, you know what they say, magicians have fast hands. Not sure, do you think it works? You know I only have eyes for you. Right. Time to get to work. I always do. Mister, the token machine ain't my money. It's out of order. That's why there's a sign that says out of order. Use the other token machine. Sean, what are you doing here? Congratulations, you can read, which puts you ahead of half the people in here. <sighs> you know, I even put tape over the coin slot so no one could put any coins in. And they ripped it off! Is it really that hard to just read the sign? <sighs> you should come by more often. It's not that rare of an event. It's not your fault. Besides, I've got to pay the bill somehow. Yeah, I live in a small studio apartment nearby. Rent's not so bad, and it's close to a bus line. I work here just enough to pay the rent and get food off my earnings doing magic. <sighs> it's a real motivation to do well when your next meal hangs in the balance. Japan. Or Italy, depending on the time of the year. I'd rather not talk about them if that's okay. Oh 
over there, but if you want tokens... Just take them. Just this one should be fine. Have fun! Anyway, wish I could chat, but I've got to go clean the dance machine using nothing but a cotton swab. now. I won the jackpot, but it only gave me one ticket! Alright, show me what happened. Well, I can't do anything about the machine, but you spent, what, four tokens? There. Better luck next time. Hey! Yeah, it happens a lot. Company policy. The customer is always right and all that. However, I just pickpocketed some of that kid's coins and gave them back to him. So far, none of them have figured it out. They can't prove anything. Besides, I don't want to be teaching kids the wrong lesson. Did you come here to watch me lie and steal from children, or was there another reason? Flattering. But coming to see me at work might not be the best time. I'm at the coffee shop near your campus every Wednesday afternoon. You can always come by then. You're no bother. Things just tend to get busy around here. You're welcome to hang around and play a few games. This just isn't really a great place for socializing. Thanks for waiting. Enjoying your drink? You sure it's green tea? Of course it is. What did you expect? <laughs> Guilty as charged. Really? I, you're not tired of it? I'd rather not fatigue you with the same things over and over. How about I teach you how to do one yourself? Only if you're comfortable with it. I, I don't want to force you. If you do this, you'll have to be confident about it. Let me show you what you'll be doing. That's right. It'll take a little bit of practice to get it right, but it's one of the basics of magic. This is where you want to keep the coin. Alright, now flex your muscles right here. Good. Now turn your hand over. Well done! Relax your fingers. You don't want it to look like you're hiding anything. Mm 
No worries, you're doing fine. You're doing really well. Don't stress yourself out, you'll get it. I have faith in you. Are you kidding? You're doing great. If it were easy, everyone would do it. It only looks easy because I've spent a lot of time practicing. Stick with me, and maybe I'll show you how to do that too. <laughs> All right, in your own time. Let me know when you feel like you're ready to move on. And back to work. Good in. You're basing out tonight. Grab an airbrush and lay down base coats for all the actors. White for clowns, gray for zombies. You get the idea. Take care of any blood too, okay? Hey, is this... Sean? Work. Figures. Well, at least I know I'll look good. I need the money. It doesn't feel so much like work when it's something you love, though. I'm glad you're here. It makes me happy to know you're nearby. I'll see you later then. Hey, Gooden. Most of the other artists are doubling as performers, so you'll be alone for a bit. You're officially on cleanup duty. Ciao. I'm on my break. You look like you've kept busy. So, you never told me you could do special effects makeup. Ah, but scaring and magic have a lot in common. Both rely on similar psychological principles. Well, in both cases, the audience is already on your side. In the case of magic, people want to be fooled. In the case of a haunted house, people want to be scared. They're already willing, so they're more open to believing what you want them to. Oops. The other common principle is misdirection. Distract someone with your left hand, and they'll never see what's happening in the right. Or in this case, distract someone with a water bottle, and a zombie can move in for the kill. Boom. You're dead. Touché. Did I just walk in on something I didn't want to? Uh, just trip, sir. Well, try not to do it on any of our customers. Break's over. Right away, sir.
Nice job, Gooden. You can pack up your stuff and head home now. The other artists can handle cleanup. And contract workers like you are paid hourly, so the higher-ups. I hope I'll see you again next year. I hope I'll see you again next year. Thanks for your work today. Not this time, sadly. The opposite of that, actually. The arcade wants me to work late for Christmas. We're right next door to a family resort hotel. The place fills up on the holidays, so it's big money. However, I did manage to get Christmas Eve off. I was planning on spending the day alone in my apartment with a bucket of fried chicken, but if you want to just hang somewhere, that would be great. Great, let's meet on campus. That's going to be cool. Buongiorno. Whoa, are you serious? I've been wanting one of these. Thanks. In my younger years, yeah. In Japan, we'd go to festivals for snow. There'd be sculptures all over the place. So this is your first experience. Might I suggest tray sledding? What's wrong? Oh, that's fine. Sure. More people. Hey, hey, magic guy, join us. I know you. We're in Professor Meridia's class together. Come on over. You're on wing duty. Make sure this dragon looks good. So are you two dating or something? What? Way to go. Of course you'd ask a pair of strangers something that blatant. Hey, you said you knew her. We share a class. That's hardly the same thing. Are you two dating? Sure are. <laughs> How could you tell? Uh, call it intuition. Or obvious signs. Your choice. Don't worry about my boyfriend. He didn't mean anything by it. He won't always be. Besides, he looks like he really likes you. But hey, who am I to say what you should or shouldn't do? Ciao. Come va? So, I think I've been doing pretty well in terms of my career lately. But I'd really like to do more. It's a good start, but I don't want to lose momentum. Sharp as ever. Yes, this is a big city, but I think I want to try expanding my influence to the internet. I do, but it's just text, and right now it only attracts fellow magicians. I was hoping we could come up with a game plan to expand the audience, Maybe even include videos? Uh, my knowledge is specialized at best. I know makeup is your strong point, but you've had a lot of experience in many different facets of the industry. Plus, you're really clever. I definitely want someone as smart as you on my side. Great! Thank you! 
Although I was being honest about how smart you are. We'll need to work out a game plan. Let's spend some time thinking about ideas, then meet up again later. Cool. See you later. Well, well, well. Fancy meeting you here. Hey, what's going on over there? Well, there's a familiar face. How's it going? It's a living. Are you a student here? No, I'm not quite college age yet. Just getting in some practice. Whoa, that is so cool. Do it again. Sorry, no repeats. Magician's Code. I thought the Magician's Code was not to reveal your secrets. Well, that too. It's a very long code, with a lot to memorize. That sounds like work. That's because it is work. And speaking of work, I should really keep moving. See you around. Not college age yet, huh? Sean, you cradle robber. Are you sure? I could have sworn I saw you two sharing a look. Well, no, not really. It's just, I've never seen you show any interest in a guy before. Especially one who still looks like a kid. I always figured you'd go for one of them mature guys. Wow, you've spent a lot of time thinking about him, haven't you? He's not interested in you, then he's just stupid. I'm saying I won't be making any snap decisions. Boy. Okay, that's fair. Ciao. Thanks for inviting me over. Nice storm setup. It's almost the size of my whole apartment. I may have to take you up on that offer. We swap ideas and figure out what we want to do. That's two more than we had before. What are the ideas? Like what? That would certainly be a hit with my current audience. It could be a good promotion for you. I like that. That's good thinking. I was thinking we should try making things more personal. Like share stories about things that happen outside of work. Up until now, we've both been posting tutorials. It's a very sterile and impersonal sort of thing to do. Exactly. Great. I think we've got a pretty good idea of where to start. I'll map out some ideas for tricks that you might be able to do makeup for. Then we'll both write out some personal stories we can share. I never thought collaborating would be so fun. I really like this. I look forward to seeing what you come up with. Not again! That water main burst again. Once the street floods, the buses will be delayed. Ouch. Well, if you don't mind a change of plans, you can come to my place for a bit. It's within walking distance. Then let's get going. Well, here we are. I hope you don't mind if I change out of this uniform real quick. 
Cool. Be back in just a sec. Oh, and make yourself at home. Thanks for waiting. Would you have preferred that? There's very little normal about me. Anyway, there should be a bus coming soon that has a stop close to your campus. Later. Buongiorno, Miss Gooden. What brings you to this humble arcade? Given the current date, am I to assume this is in a romantic capacity? Well, this isn't exactly an ideal date location, but you're welcome to any of the games you like. There you go. Next game is free. What did you win? Let's see if we can't find something better than this. Will this do? Of course I care. You just caught me off guard. It's hard to prep a magic trick on the spot, you know. I wanted to. You keep me on my toes. I like the challenge of trying to keep up with you. And I like the look in your eyes whenever magic makes you happy. I see. Well, I'm glad I got a chance to give this to you. Happy Valentine's Day. As good as can be expected. How are you? Sean! Glad I caught you. I've got to get to the studio, but I wanted to be sure I saw you first. Happy birthday! No sweat. Anyway, gotta run. Later! You didn't tell me it's your birthday? Uh, it kind of is. Let me at least get you lunch or something. I'd feel pretty lousy if I didn't. I was just about to grab something to eat from my favorite place. It's not imposing at all. Here. I didn't. When I told the guy it's your birthday, he upgraded it for free. Something about how his birthday was yesterday, so it's like a mini celebration or something. Ugh, I can't even buy you lunch properly. I still feel lousy about it. I just wish I could do something nicer for you. You really know how to make a guy feel special. But you help nonetheless. Anytime. Yes, hello. Am I speaking with Miss Gooden? 
Oh, of course. I apologize for my rudeness. My name is Masahiro Koyama. Benito is my son. Please forgive me for calling so suddenly, but I recently found a video of my son online, and your name appeared in the credits under special thanks. Are you good friends with my son? It is a relief to hear that. Can you tell me if he is doing well? Is he healthy? Is he happy? No, I'm afraid that would be difficult. I apologize for imposing on you, but I would like to ask you to please continue to be a good friend to my son. He is very clever, but sometimes he rushes into things without thinking. His mother and I worry about him. No, I think that is not necessary for now. Thank you very much for everything you have done. As good as can be said, keeping busy making the dreams of children come true. Although I'm not sure they're doing the same for me. College students aren't the world's greatest tippers. Especially compared to that nice new hotel job. Practice. I need a place where I can perfect my tricks before using them elsewhere. Oh, I do those too. This is an illusion. Here, when I turn my palm over, my hand looks empty. When I move my fingers like so, the card pops up. If I do it fast enough, it looks like I'm pulling a card out of the air. See, making a card appear like that is the illusion. The trick is letting you think that was all there is to it. That's right. And on a strictly selfish note, I like seeing you around. Funny you should say that. I got an interesting job-like offer the other day. A couple of entrepreneurs are trying to launch an entertainment website full of original content. They're asking me to do a video of street magic for the site's launch. Problem is, this is a really professional level project. The cheap cameras we've been using for our blogs won't cut it. They're giving me money to make this, but I have to handle all of the actual production myself. Since you've got more connections in that area, I was wondering if you could help me out. Thanks, Sean. You're the best. I'll call you about details later. Ciao! Greetings! I love weird. What's up? Sure thing. Wednesday morning at 24? See you then. Pronto. Sure do. Thanks, Sean. You're a star. See you. Hey, little wizard. I hope you don't mind. Uh, Benito and I have already been getting acquainted. So, what did you kids want to talk about? There's an upcoming site that wants to feature me as one of their main artists. They're funding me, but I have no idea where I'd get cast or crew or anything. That is a conundrum. My best advice is to find people in a similar situation. 
students in filmmaking or the drama department at school. They'll have knowledge and training, although their experience will probably be lacking. But they're willing to learn, and a paying gig like this is always appreciated. That's a good idea. Although I'm not a student at the college, so I'm not sure how much I can do. Excellent! You two are going to do beautifully well. Thank you for your advice, sir. We'll do our best. Yes, Miss Gooden. Hello. Today is Benito's birthday. He probably won't make a big deal about it, but we thought you should know. No, that is not necessary. We just thought it would be good for you to know. Yes, yes, that might be possible. Thank you for being a good friend to our son. Hey there, Sean. Ready to discuss work? Uh, I hope you don't mind taking a little break first. Um, today is my birthday. You didn't have to. Whoa, these are pretty cool. I'll be sure to use them. Thanks! Anyway, not to cut the celebration short, but I would like to get back to work now. Hey, Sean, everything set up for recording the Street Magic Special? Excellent. I'll see you Saturday. What's wrong? You look like something's bothering you. What about them? That's because they don't live around here. It's fine. You're not expected to know. They're both big important people who run international companies. So they mostly live on planes flying from one place to another. You get used to it after a while. Besides, I can handle myself. Anyway, I really have to get back to work, so I'll talk to you later. Morning, kiddos. Ready to get this thing rolling? I'll go get them organized. This is really impressive, Sean. Well, whichever way it goes, I'm still thankful for your help. We're ready to go. What's wrong? How so? I was thinking the same thing. The positioning is a little off. Alright, how do I fix it? You really need to keep the camera in mind at all times. Know where it is so it can stay in the action. I'll handle making sure everything is balanced and framed well, but if you turn away, we'll miss part of the trick. I read that it's best not to consider the camera's presence. Otherwise, I might become self-conscious. Maybe for a TV show, but this isn't a TV show. It's supposed to feel like the viewer is practically part of the audience. 
What's perfect? I can handle that. Then let's get to it. Hey, what's up? Thanks. I'm just glad it's over. On my way now. Just wanted to say thanks for helping out. I couldn't have done it without you. Avanti! Yeah, it's really useful. I've just been trying to figure out how to get this app to work. I downloaded this thing that's supposed to help me do daily workouts and stuff. There's this bit where I'm supposed to do sit-ups and tap the screen every time I do one. It says I'm supposed to be able to balance this on my knees, but it keeps sliding down and really isn't working at all. Right now, I'm trying to work out a rigging that can either reach over my knees or snap onto my legs some other way. That solution had not occurred to me. Ready? That's ridiculous. <sighs> Fine. Okay. That was harder than I expected. You know me. I'm not an instruction sort of guy. Will do. Ciao. Thanks for helping me out on such short notice. Uh, the fortune teller called in sick, so I've been called in as a last minute replacement. Kind of. Apparently there's a whole quest that people can do that starts with getting a fortune from her. Yeah, that's why I need your help. I'm the only actor on the team who knows how to do a cold reading, which is necessary for being psychic. It's supposed to be educational for kids, but they're also scanning stuff with their phones, so... Here we go. What do you think? Will I be the prettiest belle at the ball? That feels weird. I've got it. So, what do you think? Aw, thank you. You're the best. Always do. Enjoy the fair. You deserve it.
Great work today, Sean. The big party tonight really helped. Alcohol is great for tips. Uh, the hotel will take care of them. You're right. We'd better follow him and make sure he's okay. Hey, man! Do you want me to call a taxi or something? Uh, shove off! Sean, I... Hey there. Steel City Hospital. You put up quite a fight to get here. You don't remember? You were screaming at that drunk guy for a while. When the EMTs tried to calm you down, you told them you were coming here with me, or you'd break their arms too. The staff here are calling you the Amazon Princess. Not to me. It's nice to know someone cares that much about me. And I'm kind of glad you didn't see me crying like a little baby when they reset my arm. I don't know, but the doctor said you have to go see him once you wake up. He wants to make sure you're okay too. Later. Avanti. How does it look like it's going? <sighs> it's not you, I'm just frustrated. Having only one hand to use is a pain. The majority of my tricks aren't an option anymore. Yeah, but that's months without work and without any money for food. I've barely been skating by as is. I'm dead in the water, Sean. Why would I? <sighs> they don't even know I'm here. No, I haven't told them I'm in Steel City. It's a long story. My parents don't really like me being around. When I was a kid, we spent a lot of time together, but in the past few years, they've done everything they can to get rid of me. I've spent most of my time bouncing from one boarding school to the next, getting bored in the classroom and getting beat up in the hallways. I figured it didn't really matter what I did as long as I didn't bother them. So when they tried to send me away last year, I just got off the plane at the first stopover and decided to live here. I unenrolled from the school, then sent a letter to my parents claiming I earned a full ride scholarship and that payment would not be necessary. At the start of summer, I told my parents I'd be sticking around for their summer courses. Would it have changed anything if I did? Then that's why I never told you. We'll see. Anyway, the doctor says I'm free to go come Tuesday. They say I should find a friend to help me get home. Thank you. Ciao. 
Even if I'm not, we're still heading out. Be it ever so humble, there's no place like home. It's cold in here. I don't have any tea. You didn't have to. Can we not talk about my parents? Says you. Oh yeah? How so? What do you mean? Well, yeah. Nothing ever moved fast enough. I learned things long before anyone else. I doubt it. You don't know my parents. What? Why you? Probably not. Great. So you've been a spy for my parents all this time, is that it? I thought you were spending all this time with me because you actually like me. How much are they paying you? Then maybe you should have given me that choice instead of hiding things from me. I guess we'll never know. Just go. I don't want to talk about this anymore. Yeah? Fine. Are you coming in or not? It's fine. I was wrong. Here. It's time that I actually own up to where I am. You can sign my cast. Anywhere you feel like. Uh, sure. Could you open that deck for me? I want to work on my one-handed shuffle, but getting the box open has proven to be troublesome. It's nothing special. I guess I should have expected that. Could you grab that for me? Actually... Here, let me try something. Ugh. 
That was unexpected. Uh... Nah, it's fine. Hey, I'm going to have to replace the card I lost. Do you remember what it was? Are you sure? Because... Now that's weird. I have no idea what you're talking about. Wait, there are more words. What does that say? I'm an only child, Sean. I'm used to being alone, and I'm definitely used to not having to rely on anyone. And at first, it was really humiliating to have to get help from you. I thought relying on someone meant weakness, and I always thought I'd be strong enough to make it on my own. But after you left last time, I didn't feel better or stronger. I felt stupid. Suddenly, being alone seemed a lot emptier. And I... This is the only way I know how to tell you. The truth is, I love you. And I hope you feel the same way about me. Come on, I want to show you something. We've got to get there before it's too crowded. It's the shrine I used to visit when I was a kid. My parents used to take me here every New Year so I could make a wish. This place has hardly changed at all, but I feel like I'm so different. I feel like the world's a lot bigger and I have a lot more to learn. Is it weird that the not knowing stuff is kind of exciting? I think I have you to thank for that. Before I left, I wrote my wish on one of those. I said I wanted to be a magician. But you're my wish now. And uh, I just hope this works out. I'm glad you came, but I'm so nervous about seeing my parents. No, you'll be fine. I'm nervous for myself. Together.